The Super Bowl is right around the corner, even though the Packers won't be playing. Still a great opportunity to entertain. And here with some great ideas on Super Stews, Angie Horkin <laughs> from the Beef Council. Good morning. Good morning. Now, these are great hearty meals and something that you can make and then people can just eat as they want to. Definitely. Or even make them ahead. Mm -hmm. And then they're kind of like a good chili. They're better a day or two later. Oh, that's true. Let's start by talking about stew meat. Sure. Stews are versatile. Um, you don't need one specific cut of beef. You can start with a couple different options. Of course, stew meat per purchased right from the supermarket is perfect. And this is nice and lean, and this is more than likely round. Okay. So it'll be a bottom round roast or a rump roast. Um, and so it's one of our less tender cuts, so it's perfect for this stew. Because it'll slow cook. Slow cook, right. Or chuck roast is good, any of the chuck roasts. A chuck roast, a shoulder roast, a arm roast. Could be labeled just a pot roast or English roast. Any of okay. those roasts need that slow braising method like a stew is, so that would be fine. And then you could chunk this up yourself at home. Okay. Or even just purchase a rump roast or a round roast yourself and chunk it up at home. It might be a little more economical. Okay. And now the important thing is you need to brown the meat. Right. Take the extra time and extra steps to, um, in your stock pot, heat your oil really hot. Mm -hmm. Toss your, um, this recipe says to toss your uh, beef chunks with some flour. Oh, okay. And then uh, brown it in batches. So both of these recipes start with two to two and a half pounds of stew meat. And you could not brown this whole package in your right. pot at one time because you don't want them to crowd together and sure. steam. You want them nice and spread out so each chunk is touching the hot oil. And then rotate them, get them nice and brown, take that batch out, and then do your second batch, and then start your recipe. Okay, well, let's start with this is the this cowboy. This is a cowboy beef stew, so we started with two and a half pounds of browned stew meat, mm -hmm. and then um, the night before, we soaked some beans. So I just bought the 15 bean soup mix from the supermarket, okay, and soaked them, and then they go into the stew, and then you can add that little ham the little ham yeah, flavored packet. Yeah, but you thought packet. maybe not. I did, and I it tasted too much like ham and okay. bean soup, not like a cowboy stew with the beef. So and you actually said I you only used it. half the amount of beans in here. And then I here. used half the amount of beans. It does make a large batch, okay. so this would be good for a Super Bowl party okay. if you're having a lot of people. All right, but some of the other ingredients. And then just two cans of tomatoes, so diced tomato with uh -huh. some onions. Put those in a nice tight-fitting lid, let it simmer, for two hours. On top of the stove. On top of the stove. And then uh, with about 15 minutes left, you can add some frozen hash brown potatoes mm -hmm. for a little more. Oh, perfect. Right. A little more bulk. A little more bulk, right. <laughs> and then this stew is called a Here, beef, bean, and spinach ragu. So um, ragu is kind of a fancy French name for a tomato-based hearty beef mm -hmm. stew, and that's exactly what this and is. And a lot of great vegetables. A lot of great vegetables. So we started with our two pounds of, um, of stew meat. And then we added one can of beef broth. Uh, we added great northern beans and then just some like Italian style mm -hmm. diced tomatoes. That is it. Let that simmer for okay. about one and a half hours. Give it a stir. And then at the end, add some spinach. I added one whole bag, which looks like a lot of spinach. Right, but it cooks down. It's nine ounces. It cooks down one whole bag of spinach, then another five minutes, and you're ready. And then top it with a little shredded Parmesan cheese. And you have a nice, yummy, hearty, and healthy. Both these stews are packed full of protein. Mm -hmm. um, so very hearty meals, nice and warm. And they get the oven, and the, the oven gets the kitchen nice and oh, warm. Oh, no toasty. kidding. And, and the great. smell this of them of is year. fabulous, too. And all the recipes can be found on our web channel, NBC15.com. Just click on News Links or Beef Tips. Yes. Thanks so much, Angie. You're welcome.